at the Kenya Wildlife Service headquarters, men are busy moving tons of ivory and rhino horns from the contraband holding area in readiness for the planned burning of stockpiles on 30th April 2016. The ivory is part of a consignment accumulated over the years, has been, been recovered from poachers in various elephant range spots including Mau Forest and Mount Elgon areas. Elephant tusks weighing 106 tons and rhino horns estimated at 1.5 tons will go up in flames. A total of 15 tons were destroyed last year, the single tusks varying in weight from 3 kgs to over 20 kgs. The CA is speaking at the Elephant Conservation and Management Strategy amid valuation conference said the event is meant to send a warning to poachers to keep off its prized possession. Destruction of the illegal merchandise also signifies that Kenya places no economical value on the trade as wildlife is a unique key earner in the African ecosystem. Uh, in Kenya, our philosophy has always been to put ivory and rhino horn beyond economic use. We do not have a monetary value to it. This is an exercise that started in Kenya with President Moy burning 12 tons of ivory in 1989. This continued with President Kibaki burning 5 tons of ivory. President Kenyatta burned 15 tons of ivory uh, last year and now we are burning the entire stockpile. This is to demonstrate to the world that this is our conservation strategy. Ivory and rhino horn have no economic use. Besides poaching, other challenges facing conservation of wildlife include conflict with human beings as a result of fragmentation of habitats. Even though incidences of poaching are on the increase in Africa, the number of elephants killed in Kenya has dropped from 184 in 2012 to 96 in 2015. The main reasons give include increased awareness, improved technologies such as fitting of satellite collars on elephants to monitor their movement, and heavy penalties imposed on offenders. Satellite collars, for example, in elephant in Savo, and the information now we are getting, they are using the bypasses. And that will be a long-term research, even for uh, um, uh, as it moves to any elephant range area, will identify activities fit satellite callers, see whether they are deflection, whether they are changing routes to go to community, and we are able to do response. Only today, two men from Narok and Laikipia County were fined 63 million shillings each, being in illegal possession of three kilograms of ivory. This is the preparation of the burning of ivory, estimated at 105 tons and 1.5 tons of rhino horn. The event is going to take place right here at the Nairobi National Park on the 30th of April this year, 2016. For Channel 1 News Hour, Rose Gekuo.